How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another video. It is currently raining outside. I'm not sure you can hear it. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. So I did another 30 or so summons off screen and I managed to pull a Remnith along the way. Now I know a lot of you guys have been requesting for a Remnith team video. So without further ado, I have put together a team. So let's go ahead and check it out. Huge credits to Flower on suggesting this lineup to me. I have gone ahead to alter this quite a bit, but the gist of it is there. So I like how he used Shiwe for this team. So if you take a look at Remnith sub, you have Shiwe over here. Let's take a look Look at why she's in this team in the first place. So her skill summons sprites inflicting wind damage and deals up to 30 combos at once if you land a perfect hit. And you also grant levitate to all allies. Ability number 1, you add 10% to the time that levitate is active. And ability 2, every 10 times a direct hit is dealt, you add 10% to direct hit damage for this unit caps out at 150%. Now I'm pretty sure that every time your team hits the boss, that is 3 times of direct hits being dealt because each of your units are going to hit the boss one time. At least I'm pretty sure that this is the calculation. So if you are using piercing, you are going to easily rack up a lot of direct hits and therefore building this ability too very quickly. So it's really a good thing that she has levitate plus 30 combos on her skill because we are going to be using certain armaments that require combos. And the armament that I'm referring to is the Poseidon Spear. Let's take a look at what Poseidon Spear does. So when the combo reaches 30, you add 20% to direct hit damage for water units up to 120%. And also levitation is really good with piercing. I can't stress this enough. So Remnith grants himself and the rest of his team piercing and you need Shiwe to top up that piercing buff with a levitation. So ability 1 of Remnith is really similar to Shiwe, but ability 2 right, when this unit is a water unit, while pierce is active, you add an additional 120% to direct hit damage for this unit. And like I said before, Remnith is going to be a very selfish direct attack unit. So the idea of this team is to push Remnith's DPS as much as possible. Therefore, we will be giving him the Malted. This makes the most sense. And let's look at unit number 2. We are not going to talk about Fuff. Let's see what Lassie can do, right? So Lassie's abilities 1 and 2 both add up to 24% to the time that buffs are active on this unit. And buffs that are active on this unit, it is just a very selfish ability. But penetration and levitation are team-wide buffs. In a sense, they share the same duration for whichever unit that you have the buffs on. So as long as Remnith and Shiwei use their skills, the total team buff duration actually increases by 24%. So I really like to use Lassie here because she's just one single unit that increases the total efficacy of your team by up to 24%. And as for unit number 3, it is just a standard backup buffer. So we have Sonia with the attack buff on her skill. But not only that, Sonia also has a very interesting ability. So ability number 2, you add 50% to the time that attack buffs are active on her. And as a main, while buffs are active on her, this unit deals 2 direct hits. So she is going to be very important for a kind of like off DPS combo builder. So I paired her up with Rain because Rain has both penetration and levitation at the same time. And thus Sonia and Rain as a duo can actually rack up a lot of combos for you during the period of time. And if you're wondering why I have Prismatic Dual Blades armament on Sonia, I have explained this so many times. This is just to stagger the skills of Unit 1 and Unit 3 because you don't want your levitation and piercing to go off at the same time. And, and as you can see, they both have very similar skill gauges over here, 480 and 475. So it is very important to space them up apart so that you do not waste too much of your overlapping buffs. And without further ado, let's take a look at the run. For this run, we are going to be doing it with pups so that we can get a better idea of how it performs in an everyday sense. Now in order to cap out our Poseidon Spear, we will need to hit 30 combos a total of 6 times. That could seem like a huge stretch, especially for water teams. But what you will see from this run is that achieving 30 combos is extremely easy. In fact, we can go up to 90 combos very simply. This usually happens when either Remnith or Somnia use their skills. So without Lakisha, we are not able to throw our skills at the start. And therefore, Lakisha would be an extremely powerful addition to this team. But of course, she's only going to come out in the next month. So do keep an eye out on her. Now we are going to use our Sonia skill very soon over here and let's see how many combos we can achieve. And also because Sonia took her turn, we now have penetration and therefore Remnith is actually going to go crazy. He's going to be doing around 50,000 damage each time, which is not bad because we have not used his skill yet. Actually now that I'm recording this video, I realise that I may have a better idea of what team to build for Remnith and I can't believe that I just thought about it. Anyway, I'll just cover that in the future, so do keep an eye out on that video soon to come. But anyway, let's get back on track. We are currently at 112 combo 
So I'm pretty sure that we can achieve much higher than this. Let's see, 120. Can we even go 130? No. Okay, so we broke it because of the power flip and because we lost our buffs. But we have still done very decent damage until now. And Sonya's skill is almost up again. Therefore, we can do one more round of Levitation and Piercing. So as you can see, running a Water DA is very different to running a Dark DA team. If you have watched my previous Dark DA video, you will notice that we do not have Dark Levitation. And in fact, even in the JP version, Dark Levitation comes only on two units who happen to be both limited time units. One being Summer Alice and the other being a Colette unit. So Dark DA's direction is going to be very different from a Water DA team. With Rain as a Water unit, it is very easy for you to build Levitation. And as for Dark teams, you kind of need 6 Dark units all at once. You can't afford to lose one unit just to make up for it with an off element Levitation unit because that will break your Arc EX Demon Spear effect which requires a full team of Dark units. But anyway, just to keep you guys updated, I have improved on my Dark DA team. I'm going to release a video on it probably tomorrow. It is actually quite powerful and even in the current Light Crest Serpent event, I am able to constantly out DPS a lot of the typical Belsidia and Viron teams that you see running around with or without removing buffs. But a little bit more on that tomorrow. So I think you kind of get the gist of this team, just building a ton of combos, lengthening your penetration and levitation buffs, and just stacking a lot of attack on your leader. Now onto the result screen. This is not bad, I think. We are doing 25 million damage with a time of 3.5 minutes. Well, I think I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more testing to improve on this team. There is definitely a lot of room to improve, but I hope you guys get the idea of why this team works and how some off-meta units like Lassie can even come into play. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. This has been Free to Play, by the way, and as always, I will see you in the next video.